Hey everybody, Steve at uh, Tony's here. It's kind of a cool winterish day. Got a little bit of snow on the ground. It's about 30 degrees, but there's a bit of a wind. This is the warmest day for probably a couple weeks. We're going to be in the sub zero temps coming into next week. So just headed out to my uh, the site of the new Tony's Resto. I'm going to attach onto that side of the garage go up for a 10 foot ceiling and come over as far as I can to the road for the setbacks which will be about in line with those trees so I'll mow out about four four or five trees there and come over which will give me about another double stall worth of space with a higher ceiling so um, it's something there's no places to really rent around here in a little town I mean if I circle around and show you what's around here there, I think you've seen about half the town, so, with the school. So let's go inside the uh, existing shop, plastic garage, I call it. This is where the Type 3 lives. Uh, this used to be my overflow storage, which is now, unfortunately, inside my trailer. So I've been trying to get that cleaned out so I can use that for work. But uh, here is the Type 3. It's a 1967. Uh, good thing about it being a 1967 is that this is the first year that they went to 12 volt charging system. Before that it was six. And then in 1968, they went from carburation to a mechanical fuel injection. So to me, this is the best of all the worlds because I get to deal with the 12 volt. I get to deal with carburetors and it's a square back. Um, not, this is probably my favorite body style of this vintage. Um, how this ended up up here in Berthold, North Dakota, I have no idea. The last license on it, if I can get down in there, is 19, make sure I got you here, 1975. Oh, no, 76, I'm sorry, I lied. So it's a 67, last licensed in 76. And obviously it sat. And some people took some, dropped some parts off it, took some stuff apart. I don't know, the bumper's gone. Or mangled I think it's here somewhere in the, the pile of interior let's see that's just plastic but yeah there's the bumper these are the rubber floor mats and the side panels sail panels from the back seat um, that is the passenger seat the passenger door somewhere along the line which is right there um, rusted off the car <coughs> Uh, there's a hinge here and a hinge here that are gone. Uh, I don't know, maybe it, maybe they were cut. That could be a torch mark. It uh, doesn't matter because I have to fix it either way. Uh, we'll see what we do with the fenders, whether I make a patch piece to go in there just on the edge. It's a patina car. It's probably always going to be a patina car unless somebody wants to stick way more money into it than I'm willing to do. I'm willing to rebuild it. Um, it's got the 1600 back here. Like I said, it's uh, dual carbureted. There'd be a carburetor sitting here and a carburetor sitting over there uh, with a balance tube in, be in between, which is kind of nice. I've got a new cap, rotor, wires, coil, which isn't in here right now. In my attempt to get it running, um, in that failed attempt, I just after I did a compression test, finally, I discovered that one hole is completely dead, one hole is half gone, and the other two are good. Not enough to get this thing to kick, so um, so it'll come out. Uh, they're not that bad, from my understanding. Um, you know, YouTube training. It's got a motor mount up here. It doesn't appear to have the mustache bar like a lot of the uh, uh, Beatles and stuff do. I don't see a mustache bar, but I do see a mount up here with the two bolts and then there's the mounts on the transmission and so the engine will drop right out i'll probably put this car up on the uh, quick jack i think that'll get it high enough that i can drop the motor down and get it out from underneath uh, most of the glass is in the back glass was gone so surprisingly this isn't as rusty as it could be the panel let's see where's the panel at the back now yeah, it's here somewhere but the engine cover, it, oh here it is, isn't so bad. A lot of surface rust. 
Um, so I don't know what what happened there. Uh, this door was gone, so that seat is all, you know, the horsehair's gone, a lot of the fabric's gone, which they were gonna have to be reupholstered anyways. Um, although I guess if they look like the back seat, uh, that's, you know, pretty much usable. Uh, but I'll go through, now that I have the capability to do upholstery, I'll go through and reupholster this whole thing. Maybe headliner, we'll see. There's only a couple holes in the headliner, so it's actually not so bad. Uh, I could make some panels for the A columns coming down. Um, pretty simple little car. I've got the gauges out. I've reconditioned those already. So I've kind of been taking little nibbles and bites at what I can get to. Uh, that door panel is in my shop. I did a pattern for it um, so I can make up uh, some different designs and see what I want to do with that. Um, the seats were froze into this car um you can see this side this track i had to cut it off it's probably still in the seat uh that track that's over there these slide up and back and forth on this deal and they were just rusted i had to do a pretty typical thing which is bash the the bottom of it and dent it to get it forward enough that i could get the seats out um there are a lot of parts available for these cars. Um, of course, this is battery box, so go figure that's about it out. Um, right now, <coughs> what I'm looking at, because this is kind of a budget thing, I don't have a title for this, so we'll see exactly how far this goes. I'm trying to just stick with stuff that I could resell uh, if I can't get a title, but uh, I should be able to. Um, Right now the plan is uh, I'm going to bead roll all these all these pans. Um, I won't save time, but I'll save money and I'll get to learn all along the way. So that's, I guess, more important to me. Uh, I could even, you know, do some different designs in here if I want. Uh, but they're just flat. There's a little drop in here. But, uh, you know, I, the other side is in pretty good shape. That door was closed. Uh, so if I cut that side out, that'll give me a good template for this side to match. Uh, hopefully the heat tubes are okay. Uh, there's lots of cabling in this thing. You know, it's air-cooled, so everything's ducts and cables and flappers. And, you know, you got little deals here that don't move. And yeah, little doors down here that are rotted out. And So we'll see. See what happens with it. My oldest son thinks that it's uh, going to be his cruiser we'll see what happens what how much we end up getting stuck into this thing um with it running and solid i mean that's the basis of all of my builds uh you know that's where my shop truck's at right now uh, you gotta have good brakes you gotta have something that'll start and be reliable um i haven't even touched the brakes yet they were all seized up i don't think they'll be too bad it's just drums in the back discs in the front and there's a lot of uh, support on this um I can get them cut uh it's turned over i've had it turned over a lot uh, but it's just um with the dead holes it just wouldn't wouldn't go um so it's kind of a mess but uh you know i think uh once this thing's going uh see you know seeing something like this tool up and down the street would be a lot of fun uh, they're kind of cool little cars yeah this door isn't even an original door this has got green on it where the rest is all that original gray. Um, it's had a hard life. Well, it's kind of had a hard life. It's had a hard life just sitting outside, um, but it, it hasn't been driven hard. Uh, I think the odometer, let's go the odometer's inside because I took the Speedo out. It's like 25, 30,000 miles. Um, but when things sit, it's hard on them. And it sat for a long time. Uh, no holes through the roof though, surprisingly. Um, you know, the end gate's still usable once I get some glass for it. Um, so yeah, this is a project. It's a little bit back on the, on the burner. I'll just nibble away at this little by little. Luckily it's small, so it can get tucked away in the new shop. And I can just kind of pick at it. Um, I've got that 80 low and slow that I need to get flipped. And then uh, I've got a rebuild of a uh, three-quarter ton C20 
farm truck that's uh, kind of on the, on the schedule too once I have some space to do it but it's just a little look at the type 3 in its home before it gets too cold so again this is Steve at Tony's you guys uh, stay warm wherever you're at uh, keep turning wrenches I'm a little jealous when I go on uh, Instagram and, and uh, YouTube and see some of, some of you guys out there with these uh, pole building shops that uh, you don't even have any insulation, no attics in them. Uh, this is the kind of the garage right now when I kick my wife's car out to do some work in here. You know, uh, I insulated and put a little electric heater in here oh, probably five years ago, maybe five, six years ago. It's made a world of difference to be able to have a space like this to work. Um, it's a mess. It's too small. I've got supplies for uh, detailing uh, through there. There's my electrical, excuse the elliptical here, uh, my electrical toolbox with all my connectors and power probe and all that good stuff so I can get that going. I've got my uh, quick jack pump down there. I've got my portable roadkill fuel system in that bucket. Fuel pump and hoses and Got a gas tank there and take a battery and a jumper pack with me and away we go. Um, what else? There's nothing too, too exciting in here. I've done a video on the Malibu. So you can take a look at that. You can see, you know, that side of the garage doesn't get much love. 2017 from uh, when Ben graduated. Um, you know, parts, parts. Christmas, Christmas. You know, you got to do storage where you can. at the grill out of an old green truck sitting over there it's not perfect so it's going to be wall art if anything there's the quick jack uh, my supply of cleaning rags and the vacuum for doing uh, some detailing but uh, yeah that's what's going on what's going on in my world right now just kind of waiting for the cold to come uh, sorting through buckets of uh, parts and tools today just to try to clean things up so uh, again, thanks for thanks for watching. And if I talk too long, let me know uh, if you want to know about, more about the Type Three or the shop truck or the C10 or the White Knight or the mullet truck. Uh, they'll all be coming up. So have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.